yes, I like children. Hello everyone, hope you're doing fantastic today, and today we are modeling in Blender. So this has been requested a few times. Most of you probably developing Roblox games, you just want to make something for your model, want to model a face, but don't know necessarily how to. We are just gonna do that here, pretty much. Basic controls will go... Okay. I'm not good at explaining controls, so I will explain them as we move along. You have this guy. Cube. So you want to do the best step in Blender, delete that immediately. Uh, press Shift A. That will open up a menu like this. You'll be using this quite often. And uh, for this, for these faces, you want to select Image Background. So now you have a picture of the face you would like to model. In this case, I will be doing Trevor's Season 2 uh, Basic Smile. Uh, Shift A. Once again. Uh, spawn in a pane. So you want to scale that down roughly the shape of the nose after you get that go to edit mode select the whole thing switch to this thing above select mode loop cut and slide cut it in half pretty much you can also choose the number of cuts but don't do, do that just yet delete this one add a mirror modifier i didn't do this originally but it does save you a lot of time to select Shit. for Trevor's nose it's a bit basic which is exactly why I chose it there's this little toggle x-ray button up here press that now you can actually see through it's gonna be a tricky a few times but it's pretty useful For the eyes, we want to spawn in a circle, that to 12, and just rotate it onto the, rotate it onto the, rotate it onto the, press E to extrude, just immediately left click, and pull in a little bit, and that will pretty much be the eye hole. Now he looks like he's wearing glasses. He looks like Dr. Eggman now. Posted my news on Twitter.com. But anyway, uh, here one thing I forgot about the nose. You have to do the same exact thing. So just do that. E to extrude as per usual. And there is an issue here that you can notice. So when your faces are transparent like this, that pretty much means in simpler terms that you cannot use the model uh, or you can't print it, can't use it in trains. It's just unusable. So what you want to do is press A to select all and shift N to recalculate the normals. And that fixes it. Forgot to mention before, but your 2D topology should look as three dimensional as possible while also being as simplified as you possibly can or else a lot of bumps and uh, cracks will appear in the final model. When all the details on the face are finished, you add in another circle as its uh, outer parameter or smoke box diameter. When you fill in the gaps between the two, make sure that they are as straight as possible or else you're going to regret that later on when we actually extrude all of it. For those who don't know, because I completely missed this the first time I started making these faces, 
add the mirror modifier you actually have to apply and then it just uh, completely deletes itself but keeps the second half so then you can move and tweak little details like that. When you think your topology is good and you're ready to extrude, uh, time to put in a side reference if you can to see how much depth the face actually has. Now for the model to not look as sharp and as edgy as it is on screen right now, you need to apply another modifier called subdivision surface, uh, crank that up to 2 or 4, and you also want to shade smooth. This way the face will actually be smooth, pretty much.
There's a way to add eyebrows and eyes and details as such. You insert a pane once more and you roughly shape it out, subdivision surface and all that good stuff. And then you use shrink wrap and you select the face itself and then it will pretty much project it. Make sure it hovers above it a little bit so it's not completely invisible. But now you have eyebrows and small details like that, almost like it's painted. So, I oh, hope you found this video helpful. It's been requested a lot, so I'm guessing some of you did struggle with it. Yeah, pretty much. This is how every phase goes. What I usually do, I did it scratch uh, from scratch here because of, you know, just to show you guys how to actually do it somewhat. But uh, all the topologies that Rex is showing, just copy those pretty much put them down and whatever character you're doing you just copy that start uh, modifying that one it's uh, much quicker sometimes to do it because it's basically all there perfect and that's pretty much all I have to say pass me was a dumb ass and did not mention this but along with the Trevor face all patched up ready for printing I will include a Thomas sad face and a smudger smiling face that I did also not long ago with the pack so you can either use it as an example for your future projects or print it just for yourself, put it on your models. So hope you guys enjoy all that, and I'll see you on the next one.